I'd like to nominate Keith King to the ALBB Ch Bucket of Chicken Challenge. Um, you have one week to cook chicken wings better than I'm about to cook. All right, I'm going to start by saying that Keith is not going to be impressed with what I'm about to do. All right, we're going to go uh, into the freezer of goodness here. We got all sorts of stuff, but tonight it's all about chicken wings. This one's so cheap, I didn't want to spring for the peanut oil, so I got the corn oil. Glug, 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 glug. So since I have absolutely no idea how to do this, I googled and somebody said you do like 250 degrees for 10 minutes, so let's find out. 250 degrees, just like I said. Right, so 20 minutes at 250, like I said. I have no idea how to do this, so these are frozen. There should be a little bit of sizzle there. Yeah, not very much, so we'll come back in 20. Actually, I'm back in 5. Uh, we're still at 250, so... Let's see how these things are doing. All right, well, you know, it's like bubbling, so that's good at least. Man, it takes forever to cook chicken wings, so I guess all I have to do right now is to drink some beers. Oktoberfest. All right, and there we go. We got 20 minutes. Shut up. Uh, let's check timer, temperature in about 245, 250 almost. That's what we cooked them out. All right, so they actually looks pretty good. So um, let's get all that oil out and let's drop them in this. Oh shit, we dropped one in there. Shit, that's not good. And we got the tongs to the rescue. All right, so there we go. 20 minutes at 250. Let's crank this sucker up to 400 if we can. I don't think we're going to get that high because it only says 374. All right, into the freezer. We're going to put that because that's what the direction said. We're going to let you sit while we get our oil up to really hot. All right, so we're at uh, 350. we got a little ways to go. Uh, as you can hear, it's, it's pretty loud. I mean, it's, it's definitely bubbling. All right, about five minutes has gone by and we've lost five degrees, so I think that's about as hot as we're going to get it. Not sure how long I'm supposed to, you know, cook them at this high temperature to crisp them up, but we're going to try five minutes, and we're going to uh, come back and test them then. Wait a second. You hear that sizzle? You see that? Well, you know, I think this is going to come out perfect, actually. found Keith's Wings and Things. Left this in my house since... Uh, the uh, Patriots Steelers game of 2013. So let's get these suckers covered in it. Oh, hell yeah. Ken's blue cheese with some gorgonzola. Oh, that was a good note. There we go, man. I think we did it. I'm impressed. <laughs> oh, you can hear Benny in the background. He's pissed. He wants to eat chicken wings. All right. So what's the, what's the verdict here? Mm. Good. Crispy? Yeah. What does that mean? I'm trying to see if they're cooked all the way through. Of course they're cooked all the way through. Delicious. Delicious? Thumbs up? So, you know what? That worked phenomenally good, and I'm impressed with myself. And, yeah, that was uh, two thumbs up. That was like A plus right there. Whatever instructions I just followed, that's how you should do it. Thanks, everybody.